Watch out, little kitty. Make sure to keep our earth clean. After all, this is the only planet we can call home. Kitty Pie's home on Mars. Well, it seems like everyone has Mars on their mind these days. So I think we should take this opportunity and answer a futuristic question. What if we lived on Mars? Zoom in! Considering the level of destruction happening on Earth, humans have already started looking for new homes. And fortunately, our friendly neighborhood Mars seems to be an ideal option to settle down. But as we know, no other planet in our solar system is as perfect as Earth for living organisms to thrive and survive. Therefore, humans are surely going to have a hard time adjusting into Mars' environment. So, let us jump into the future and see how we can settle on Mars. As soon as you land there, the first challenge will be the lack of oxygen to breathe as there is only 0.13% of it on Mars. Whereas carbon dioxide makes up about 96% of its atmosphere. So, if we need more oxygen, we either have to bring it along or make it ourselves by extracting it from the CO2 with machines like NASA's MOXIE. Then the next problem will be the low atmospheric pressure and high radiation that can cause massive damage to our organs and body. Hence, it will be compulsory to wear spacesuits and live inside buildings with pressure vessels to guard ourselves. Or maybe we would live underground to survive the harsh environment. Plus, the suit will not only keep you warm during winter, when the temperature could fall as low as minus 55 degrees Celsius, but it will also protect you from the unpredictable, ever-changing weather that can bring along powerful dust storms. On top of that, the gravity on Mars is 38% lower than that on Earth. So, Taking those initial steps without tumbling around could be a challenge. Hence, you'll need to train yourself to walk on its surface without getting mildly hurt. Once we learn to walk, the next step will be to deal with the unavailability of food due to the lack of fertile soil, sunlight and water on Mars' surface. But fortunately, a technique called hydroponics, in which crops can be grown without soil and sunlight, can be the best option for this problem. And if you want to know how hydroponics works, please check our video on the same topic. But even with this method, we will need water. So for that, we could dig out the water from the vast reserves of water ice sealed beneath Mars' surface. And after these basic needs are fulfilled, the time will come to focus on the bigger goal of making Mars habitable for more people by heating it with the help of some pollution. Yes, you heard that right. According to some scientists, the same greenhouse gases that pollute the Earth would be the key to warming Mars. These gases can help trap solar radiation and help build a thicker Martian atmosphere and make the locked water evaporate needed for the rain and snow to fall on Mars. And after maybe a thousand years, there'd be enough oxygen for humans to breathe. And finally, we can have a new home. Trivia time! Did you know the first spacecraft to land on Mars was the Viking landers? Yes, it touched Mars' surface in 1976. To know more about this red planet, please check out our video. 
Mars 101. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. <laughs>